Right, here's five things I love about my Lexus. Number five would have to be the comfort. It is a very comfortable car inside. I cannot complain how comfortable it is. It is, them seats are very comfortable. I cannot complain about that. Um, there's a lot of cars I've been to in like that. That is semi comfortable. That Mercedes, yeah. This one takes the K. It is very comfortable. And you got, and those back seats, you can sleep on them. It's a very comfortable car. Um, Lexuses usually have pretty good build quality in their interior. I really can't complain. It is very comfortable. Um, I believe I drove for like for two hours and my, my ass did not hurt. Uh, number four is going to be the handling. This car... Um, it is on coils, so when I first got it, it was very smooth at handling. You could turn this car left and right, it would not bounce. I mean, now it bounces, but uh, I put coils and I lowered it up, as you can see, a lot. In my opinion, it improved the handling even better. Like, if I wanted to, I could go slide this in the track. Um, I slide it, I haven't slide it, uh, I've turn in very tight corners but uh it, it it's even better when you put coils on it it's a better handling um you get more of a driver a driver feeling i really like it with the coils and it uh, really grips you on the road don't get me wrong you when uh, when you go like a hundred you past a hundred you start to feel that engine, that performance engine. Because uh, it does have a, a manual mode, I call it. Um, you do feel more power in the manual mode. So with all the stuff I did to it, the performance stuff, it is it is kind of, it, it is quick for being a very heavy car. Number three would have to be the features the car has, um, like navigation, um, I could tweak the stereo i could actually preset which channels i want and it's got cool control it has other cool features as well for being a 2006 aiming has keyless entry what car has keyless entry in 2006 it was very ahead of its time number two has to be the maintenance there is literally no maintenance required for this gs 300 um, all you have to be maintain is the oil level, and it actually gives you an indicator in the dash, and as well as the navigation system when the car needs oil. That's pretty damn cool. I don't know. I know other cars give you indicators, but this one actually you can actually set the mileage, and it actually tells you in the dash. Oil change soon. X miles left. Number one would have to be the overall look of the car. It is a very timeless modern car. I get a lot of people ask me that they think it was a 2012 car, but it's not. It's a 2006, which I actually feel like that. Um, I do know overall it has a body kit, I understand, but even when it didn't have a body kit, people still thought it was a 2012 and up. Um... I really like all the features, the build quality, the sleek design of each panel, the grooves, um, the side of the car looks so cool. Um, i seen people slam them and do other crazy stuff with this car. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing really bad about the GS. It's a very reliable car. If uh, you were looking to get a reliable car, this one would be. Um, I do know the 2007s have a little bit more issues. Um, other than that, you can't really go wrong with a GS. It's a very high class, comfort, cheap VIP car. As always, if you guys liked the video, enjoyed it, you thought you learned something about the damn GS, like subscribe do what you want um i might be getting a new car you might not even see this car anymore on the channel i found um 370z for 
14 grand. So I'm going to go check it out now.